Shalom, Akim, Shalom. Uh, first, to give foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakapadash. I'm going to like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruwell. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. News in the gospel, bro. I lift up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, the reason why I showed this trailer, The Great State, is for one of many reasons. Uh, first of all, it showed you a state of surveillance. Uh, like when you look up the uh, the WEF, which is the World Economic Forum, and the WHO, et cetera, uh, you know that they already had provisions up and running to do like a global surveillance of everybody, every man, woman, and child of people that got the you-know-what, okay? And currently, they're undergoing a new trial period of, of more pestilence, so to speak, and they want to track how many people is going to get this particular, uh, you know, thing in you, I say it that way, starting with children mainly because this is really a war on the children because they know that the children is the future. So uh, second of all, they show completely in the trailer that uh, uh, the MOTB. OK, check this out. see that pyramid that triangle which goes into the elites okay the, the, the illuminati the pyramid and basically what they did was stuck the motb in them man and you notice that those people had to show their risk going into the cat and going into the uh the uh, the checkout station you see and then they showed you the martial law they showed you the uh economy collapsing qe4 suspended which qe goes into quantitative easing which allows them to borrow money from the fed at a zero percent interest rate so they don't have to pay back the interest. But all that was suspended to say that here, U.S. House poised a vote on urgently needing debt ceiling suspension. OK, now, when you look at the debt ceiling, meaning that it's the amount of money or the amount of debt that this place have accumulated. OK, then you got GDP, which is gross domestic product, which uh, I believe the GDP was at a point in time, I believe it was like a. Uh, uh, like 30 something percent 
And then I think they're only increasing like at one or two percent, maybe if that. And that was years ago. Okay, so gross domestic product, like Apostle Tari even made the example, like what all money and assets you have in your account, basically the assets that America has. And honestly speaking, they don't really own anything. So really, they gross domestic product is pretty much non-existent, though they do have bonds and treasuries and so forth like that in particular assets. But yet other countries are taking on the debt of Babylon the Great. So needed a debt ceiling suspension because they can't afford to pay the bills. And this is all a strategic move, though, because, hey, for the simple fact, they're getting ready to do the Fed now in January, uh, of July 1st. So let's just say if they didn't raise the debt ceiling, they would go into default. OK, so the whole thing is, is to hold off the default. So when the institution of the Fed now is up and running down the line, when they do default, they can just go ahead and roll out the MOTB. So you got to watch how this devil move, man. OK, because it's not the fact that he can't raise the death cell. And I mean, they can raise it, but they may choose not to raise it because it wouldn't make sense to, to let it collapse when you got a launching of a new program July 1st. So however it goes, we don't know. OK, I believe they held it off to what June 5th of this year. So we don't know. You know, I'm just speculating through the spirit how it can go. But overall, in games, the MOTB in great state, because this financial collapse will and definitely be the be the, the 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 civil war that America has been brewing for these many years, man. Okay, so um, it says here legislation brokered by President Joe Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, which they're a bunch of demons anyway, uh, to lift the thirty one point four trillion U.S. debt ceiling and achieve new federal spending cuts passed an important hurdle hurdle late on Tuesday, advancing to the full House. Of representatives for debate and expected vote of passage on Wednesday. <sighs> Excuse me. Shit, that sleep demon hit me. Um, it says the House Rules Committee voted seven to six to approve the rules, allowing the debate by the full chamber. It says two committees, Republicans, Representatives Chip Roy and Ralph Norman, bucked their leadership by opposing the bill. But the vote underscored the need for Democrats to help pass the measures in the House, which is controlled by Republicans with the narrow of 222 through 213 majority to vote on. It says the House passage would send the bill to the Senate and the measures need congressional approval before June 5th, which is what today's the 31st. So the first is tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So that's Monday. So one, two, three, four. So Monday should be June 5th. It says when Treasury Department could run out of funds to pay its debts, for the first time in U.S. history. But see, the thing that the funds that you're paying your debts with don't have any value to it. And the only reason why it may take away from the debt slightly is because the U.S. currency is still the reserve currency, which is backed by the petrol, <laughs> but not too much for long because Saudi Arabia, they're pretty much cutting ties with America. So technically honest, the U.S. dollar is being backed by the military, okay? And their ties with Saudi Arabia and the BRICS nations, that pretty much set a federal blow to America. That pretty much that that delivered a a, a a a puncturing wound that they could never recover from, and they don't intend on recovering from it because their ultimate solution is bringing out the MOTB, which will be a chaotic. This this place is gonna when this place finally collapse, and you people realize that that's what the fuck is going on. This shit is gonna go up, and it's gonna be horrible, man. Okay, people are gonna literally take to the streets, and there will be a lot of killing and death. OK, it says that the Treasury Department cannot cover, make all of its payments or if it was forced to prioritize payments that could trigger economic chaos in the U.S. and global economies, which will lead to inevitable World War Three. OK, so before we go further, let's get a couple of precepts here real quick, because we know that this is all orchestrated through the elites. OK, the elites, they're behind us, they're orchestrating it, and it's all coming back to bite them at the end of the day. Because the scriptures say that he should vomit up un uh, he should vomit up riches, man. Those riches that he stole, that he's kept back by fraud, he's going to restore all that to the Israelites. Okay, because like we always teach, wealth is never destroyed, it's just transferred. Okay, so all the wealth that the elites have accumulated over rape, robbery, and deceit, and enslaving us, and setting up wars and proxy wars, man. Hey, you getting all that wealth back, we ain't going to get that in the form of greenbacks, man. OK, we're going to get that in the form of gold, silver, crystals, rubies, jewels, and ultimately your fucking ass. OK, 
because we're going to generate a lot of wealth through having you as our slaves. So remember that, E. But it says, go to now, ye rich men, rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that should come upon you. And what's the miseries? Them going into captivity. And ultimately, how about you? How shy breaking down the infrastructure, the strongholds? It says, your corruptions, your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. Okay, so this is the reason why they're having fucking debates, man. Okay, corrupted. $31.4 trillion in debt. Like, how can a society sustain itself in that? And they're constantly printing more money, more money, more money. To the point, they just ran the whole freaking real estate market. They just drove that into the ground. Because now, yeah, it may be a buyer's market, but can't nobody afford to hold on to the houses. So when people are forced to sell their houses, they are forced to sell them a lot cheaper than what they normally would. Because with a simple fact, people ain't got the money like that. So to get some type of money out of the deal, they got to sell a fucking $200,000 house for a hundred and for, for what fucking ninety nine thousand dollars, man. You just took a hundred dollars. You just took a fucking a uh, hundred thousand dollar loss, man. People ain't happy about that, but hey, that's the way that the society's designed. It's based on usury. You see, so it says Biden and McCarthy have predicted they would get enough votes to pass the ninety nine page bill into law before the June fifth deadline, but the nonpartisan budget scorekeeper. For Congress on Tuesday said that the legislation will reduce spending from its current projections by $1.5 trillion over 10 years, beginning in 2024. Okay, so it's kind of like a fixed thing now. Okay, they cutting a budget. It's just kind of like if you go to an accountant or if you file for like a bankruptcy or something like that. What they would do, they would put you through these classes on how to budget or how to budget your expenses or your debt. Okay, so if they put you on a particular plan on saving money so you can pay all your bills... They may say, well, look, we're going to cut your spending by $230 a month by eliminating this, and this, and this, and this, and saving up residual income so you can pay that off and have this left over for what you need. And that's pretty much what happens here. Okay, it's basically like a big debt consolidation class that they're doing. Okay, same thing like when you're taking out loans and let's just say if you're late on a payment and you say you call the bank and say, well, look, I can't afford the payment this month. I need a deferred payment, which takes that payment and put it into the back of the loan, which you would end up paying interest on down the loan run. This, this is all fraudulent, man. You know? And it says here, uh, the Congressional Budget Office also said that the measure, if enacted into law, will reduce interest on the public debt by $188 billion, which is nearly not enough. <laughs> it says, McCarthy called the bill the most conservative deal we've ever had, but nevertheless... Some of the House's most conservative Republicans who sought for deeper spending reductions were not persuaded and it's unclear how many Democrats McCarthy would need to win Wednesday's anticipated vote on the passage. And even then, that's still not going to work because, matter of fact, let me come back to this James real quick. Let's go from here to the book of uh, Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, and let's see what it says here. Because you can attempt to heal this place all you want. The blow has been the, 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 the fucking fatal blow has been done. Okay, the death shot has been it's been it's been put in her. It's, it's a done deal. Okay, you've been dying since you took the US currency off the gold standard back in the 70s. So you can forget about it. So all this debt that you accumulated, you don't have the money to pay it off. Because after a while, people are not gonna buy into your debt anymore. The dollar isn't worth anything, and people don't respect your military enough to fear it because you got a bunch of transformers running around. So you're fucked either way, bro. Okay. So this is the book of Jeremiah 50. And I'm going to start at verses um, 50 and. No, I get it mixed up. 51. And I'm going to start at verses um, 7. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand. that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of a wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, they pissed off, man. They bought into this whole U.S. dollar, this whole Western hegemony just to get nothing in return, to get a bunch of rebelliousness, a bunch of uh, debt notes, a bunch of central banks building up in their society that's causing them to go into debt. And in order for them to get out of that shithole, they got to play ball with the Western government, man, which means allowing transmissions in their society. And they're tired of it. And that's just scratching the surface. It goes deeper than that. Uh, it says, for Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. But how for her? Take bomb for our pain. If so, she may be healed, right? Because, you know, bomb is a, a healing agent. I like to call it neosport, okay? But even your uh, your bailouts and your, your raising your debt ceilings and holding it off, like the brother said, kicking a can down the road, that's all you're doing, 
okay? Because what you're doing, you're kicking the ball down the road. It's like the snowball effect. It starts off small, but the closer it gets down to the hill of it exploding, it's big. So you continue to kick the can down the road until the point you can't kick it anymore. And they will default. The U.S. will default. Okay, no ifs, ands, or buts, and we're reading it. Okay, they may not default June 5th. They may not default some other time, but they will default sooner than what we think. Okay, and honestly speaking, I hope they just pull the plug on this fucking place today. Okay, let it go already. It's, it's done. Like, why are you keeping a nigga on life support? He's dead. He's crossed over. Okay, but we understand, you know, it's all through prop prophetic means. But it said we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into his own country for our judgment reaching into the heaven and is lifted up even into the sky. So people, they like, fuck it. You know, people, the Saudis, they like, we're not dealing with this anymore. Russia, you know, China, they like, nah, we cool. We cool on you, bro. So it's a done deal. All right. But it says here, um, after all four Democrats, the rules committee voted against the bill as they typically do on Republican backed legislation. But it was unclear what it, that might influence other Democrats to do the same on Wednesday, even as Democrat leader Hakeem Jeffries said in this party will provide support for McCarthy. Now, going back into the whole trail of the great state, they showed you the suspension of QE4. They showed you the economic collapse. They showed you the martial law. They showed you the RFID chip. That's what's getting ready to happen. Okay, all this raising the debt ceiling and suspending the debt ceiling, all this is set up to bring in the MOTB. Okay, and don't be surprised, too. This can take a turn to the left, man. They're talking about the CBDC and Fed now, but they may just bypass that shit and say, you know what? Let's just bring out the MOTB because I'm trying to figure out even with digital cryptocurrencies or digital currencies, you're still backing it behind a failing currency. So how is that going to work? Okay, how is it going to work overall? Now, we see the digital aspect of it is conditioning to get people used to not accepting cash or paying with cash to get you conditioned to, to, to roll out or to accept the MOTB, which I could see them doing that for that particular reason. But the fact that you have a, a, a dying dollar backing it behind digital means isn't going to save it. So that digital means should have just to condition you to get the mark. So you can say, OK, this is convenient. This is easier. This makes sense because I don't see a digital currency making your dollar stronger when nobody fucking with it anyway. But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong on that, you know. But anyway, it says many Democrats did not want Congress, did not want Biden to engage in a budget cut negotiations with Republicans until they've lifted the hold on enacting a debt limit bill. But you know what? Even out of all this so-called budget spending and cutting and cutting corners, they're going to still send a fucking billion dollars to Ukraine. It's often they're going to still send billions of dollars over there to Israel. They're still going to aid these countries out there. But yeah, you got homelessness, poverty here in America, man. OK, you got uh, immigrants or refugees, whatever you want to call them, migrants crossing the border that's living in our cities now. OK, and we're not saying that uh, they're going to all be evil or it's up, to, to, up to some nefarious dealings. No, because honestly, they're native to this country. So they have a right to be here. But that was all by design. OK, Esau bought those immigrants here so he can further increase the debt, man. OK, because those people are getting handouts. Why? Because he needs to increase the debt so he can be justified on collapsing this place, man. OK, uh, let's go back to James, the fifth chapter. Because this is where it gets good at. All right. James five. And where we at, Jay? There we go. James five. And I'm going to start at verses three. It says your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them should be a witness against you and should eat your flesh as it were fire. It's that you have heaped treasures together for the last days, right? Okay, because they think that their treasures and their money, their bunkers is going to get them out of the, the, the scope of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But in fact, the Lord got you, man. Okay, you're like a cornered rat, man, and you're going to get squashed, E. Okay, like the scriptures go into, um, into the laborers. What is that? And I believe in Job, when it goes into uh, uh, the laborers. Or, uh, uh, fuck, how does it go? I think it's in Job 20, if I'm not mistaken, or 18. Or it goes into uh, uh, the wicked. Uh, uh, it goes into the wicked, but that word wicked goes into like the laborers. It's kind of it's like a precept here. It says, behold, the hires of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which you kept back by fraud. Who is that? The Israelites, man. OK, we've built this place up currently. And how the hell are you in debt? And this plate, dog, you, you've got free slave labor for hundreds of years. How the hell are you in debt? 
which shows you that you're mismanaging everything. You're, Esau is not that smart. He's smart because he follows a formula, but he's not smart. He's smart, but he's not wise. I'll put it to you that way. It says, kept by fry, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the lords of Sabaoth, which that means the lord of the armies, because like, we complain every day. I complain every day about, you know, how they taking taxes out of our money and, you know, you got to pay the title for D shit. And then, you know, you get these de debt collection practices, these, you know, nefarious practices. They're trying to intimidate you, saying you owe thousands of dollars in debt, man. That shit is stressful, bro. You know, we never just had a time to just enjoy our, our, our income or... I won't say income, my wage. We have never been totally able to do what we wanted to do with it. You know, we wasn't able to do the things that's required to do. Land, you know, fucking wells and so forth, livestock. We can't do that shit here. Not least at the magnitude that we desire to do it. Certain brothers can do it, but even then, you know, there's still limits. Like if I wanted, like if I, I couldn't just go down to the Lake of the Ozarks and buy a condo lake house just because I feel like it. No, I got to work and jump through hoops and Make sure I ain't got no debt and have A1 credit. And even then, they still may deny me because I'm a Jake. All right. That's why it says here, you have lived in pleasure on the earth and been one time, which means undisciplined, have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just and you have doth not resist you. But be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband may wait him, waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. But be also patient, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord, draw nigh. Okay, so hey, Esau is getting ready to fucking go down, bro. All right, we know we keep saying that, but he's getting ready to finally go down and he's getting ready to reap what he sowed, bro. All right, this economy is through. They're not going to heal it. Only thing they're doing is delaying the inevitable. And let them do it. Let them. Because the, the more they keep pushing this collapse down the road, the more certain it's going to be. Okay, like I, I'm 144 percent sure that the American economy is going to collapse within our lifetime. Okay, and I'm 144,000 percent sure that it will collapse because they continue to push this shit down the road. Even Esau is telling you, he's basically telling you they're going to collapse, man. In the White, it says here in the White House budget, Director Shalanda Young, and these people ain't qualified, man. He's just a bunch of Satanists that got together to bring mischief. Okay, they're not even swearing in office, bro. These people have have broke so many fucking ethical codes. It's ridiculous, man. They're not even upholding one bit of the Constitution that they claim to uphold. And this is why the common Edomite is pissed off. But he says, I want to be clear. This agreement represents a compromise, which means no one gets everything they want and hard choices had to be made. It says the Senate vote could possibly stretch into the weekend if lawmakers in that chamber tried to slow its passage. But at least one senator, Republican Mike Lee, has said he may try to do so. And another Republican also expressed his comfort with some aspects of the deal. But the bill would suspend the U.S. debt limit, meaning that they can spend as much as they want through January 1st, 2025, allowing Biden and lawmakers to set aside the political risky issue until after the November 24 presidential election. And he's trying to put this shit off on somebody else because Joe Biden, if he ain't dead by now, OK, or if he ain't dead already. You know that he's not going to win the next election. All right. And honestly speaking, I don't think that may be another election. But who knows? Maybe. Maybe a purge. Who knows? But regardless of it, whoever comes in office next, whether this guy gets reelected or Trump gets back in there, they're going to hire a whole shit ton of uh, inherit a whole shit ton of problems. And Trump may not get in there because when Trump was in there, he was trying to pay the bills off and decrease the debt limit, you know trying to create more jobs and, you know, people have more money in their pocket. So they don't want that. They want this to fall. But it says it will also cap from government spending in the next two years, speeding up the permitting projects for some energy projects and clawback unused, you know, what funds and introduce work requirements for food aid programs such for some poor Americans. But it's another win for Republicans. It will shift some funding away from the Eternal Revenue Service, although the White House says that it should not under court tax enforcement, but believe it or not, they're going to end up going up on that shit anyway. You know, but anyway, this place is getting ready to collapse. So Isaiah 19, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 4, it says, In the Egyptians, I will offer, matter of fact, it started 3, it says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. 
meaning you know, to the politicians, to the, the spiritual leaders, okay, the presidents, the congressmen, the judges. And it says, in the Egyptians, I would give over into the hand of a cruel lord. And right now, hey, check this out. Esau Edom, okay, this current administration, this is a cruel administration because now they're setting up provisions to combat so-called anti-S speech, you know. So, hey, they're getting ready to come down with great wrath. And it says, and a fierce king should rule over them, says the Lord of hosts. And the water should fell from sea to sea, and the river should be wasted and dried up. And they should turn the rivers far away, and the brooks of the fen should be empty and dried up, and the reeds and flags should wither. Okay, because this place is getting ready to collapse. And this is a total collapse, man. All right, verses 14, and the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit. And these verses are good, too, because it's just going into how the mirth and how the commerce is going to be broken down. But it says, um, the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to earn every work thereof, as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. Neither should there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail or branch or wedge may do. And in that day shall Egypt be like unto women, which this Egypt is talking about, Babylon the Great the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, and it should be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaken over it, man. Okay, so this place is getting ready to go down, and it's going down. Okay, like Yahweh Shai said, he behold, he saw Satan falling from lightning, I mean, falling from heaven, it's lightning. That's happening. You saw Edom is getting broken down, man. Okay, uh, this is the book of Ezekiel 7, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 12. It says, the time has come, the day draweth near, let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive, okay? So your businesses are going to be shut down, okay? You may live to see through it, but like when that 2020 ordeal hit, a lot of people lost their mom and pop shops, man. Went into bankruptcy. A lot of people went homeless behind this shit. It says, although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof which should not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. All right, so, hey, all hell getting ready to break loose, bro. They have blown a trumpet, even to make all ready, but not go into the battle. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. And this is going to lead to famine and pestilence, more pestilence, because more variants are on the rise. More pestilence are plaguing the earth, man. Okay, I heard Esau say something about a new variant out in China, 65 million a week. I don't know if I believe that, but that's what I heard. All right. But it says the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within. And he that is in the field should die with the sword. And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence should devour him. OK, so that's the point. You know, these cities are getting ready to be broken down. Food shortages. We're getting ready to see a total and inevitable fall of America, man, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. So um, I'm in it there, giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakodash. And with that, Shalom. And a bubble ball, shallow one. And oh, by the way, they killed this guy, David Crowley. I believe he was like in the U.S. military and he was an insider. And that's why I encouraged him to make the movie because allegedly he heard or knew the plans of the elites. So they killed him and his family and they read it off as a suicide. But they killed him. And we see why.
night I dreamt about how things were. Not just yet! Of every enemy of the state! And then I woke up here. <laughs> 